Hey guys, what's up? It's Alex from Tutorial. So today I'm going to be talking to you guys about Bitcoin tumbling. We'll be covering everything from how to mix your coins to explaining why it's so important to do so. If you don't have Bitcoin or just getting started with cryptocurrency, feel free to check out my last couple videos on buying and storing Bitcoin in Electrum, an easy to use wallet client for PC and Mac. As always, hit the subscribe button for more and slap that notification bell to stay on top of fresh content when it goes live. Thank you. As we all know, the very awesome nature of cryptocurrency is its anonymity, right? the freedom of buying selling stuff without getting traced, monitored, whatever you want to call it. However, using Tor Browser over your password protected home Wi-Fi to safely score a check study account for $1 isn't enough to wipe your tracks. Think about it this way, in theory cryptocurrency is anonymous, but a quick look at the blockchain, a public record of Bitcoin transactions, as many of you know, can allow someone to pinpoint where a sale originates and where those funds are bounced off to. Analysis tools used by guys in badges makes this process easier, obviously, and no one's trying to get spied on, so to alleviate this, Bitcoin mixing services allow people like you and me to throw in our bugged aka dirty coins into the mixer in exchange for clean coins of the same amount fused together from dozens of different sources. Therefore, the hundred bucks in Bitcoin you just bought in your name from an exchange on the clear net won't be the same coins you used to buy 100 check study accounts on the dark web. I hope that makes sense, because remember, every crypto transaction is stamped, dated, and forever etched into the blockchain. This includes wallet addresses that may contain identifiable information like a name or bank account, for example, Coinbase wallets. Um, yeah, this is far from anonymous. So together, we will purchase coins in broad daylight from Coinbase, turn down the lights as we transfer them over to our local Electrum wallets, and go dark when we send those coins through a mixer. This last step again essentially severs the trail between the original coins and the new coins on the other side. Well, are you feeling like Jason Bourne yet? Let's do this. So first things first, download Tor. Then go ahead and pull up Electrum. You can download this client for free from Electrum.org and Electrum.org only. Double check your online by ensuring that bottom right button is lit up green. Now head over to the receive tab and generate a new address. This is the wallet address you'll be receiving squeaky clean coins from our mixer. Alright, Electrum's up and running so let's buy coins from the feds. Now I like Coinbase because it has a clean UI and supports a number of cryptocurrencies, but you're welcome to get Bitcoin from whatever exchange you like. I already got 40 bucks worth of Bitcoin in my balance, so I'm just going to be using that for today's transfer. Now we're getting into the good stuff. Head over to Blender.io. This is the mixing service we'll be sticking to. FYI, there are a ton of mixers out there and a good chunk of these are fake and will gladly steal your money, so stick with the links I'm providing in this video to avoid being fished. Luckily, Blender has been in the know for a while and has a great track record as no logs are stored. After checking it out on the clearnet, open Blender via Tor using their onion link provided in the banner up here. Again, be wary of other links. So in the first box, you'll be pasting in your Electrum address. Head back to the Wallet Receiving tab and hit the clipboard button to easily copy that over. And while we won't be doing this today, you can also distribute your fresh coins among multiple receiving addresses to buff your security. Keep in mind though that more addresses you add, the more fees you pay. Uh, next you'll be setting a time delay, which allows you to decide when your fresh coins will show up to the receiving address. It provides an extra layer of privacy, so I recommend customizing this delay to your liking as it would be difficult for anyone to trace your coins to a particular timeline. For today's purposes, I'll set mine to one hour. Next comes the service distribution fee, and to keep things simple, just leave this box as is. On top of this, remember an extra 0.003 Bitcoin is taken out for each recipient address. Now this last box checks your mixing code, which is provided after your first mix to ensure you don't receive back the same dirty coins you put in. That would suck, so this is a great security measure, however, as this is our first mix, we'll be leaving this box blank. Click mix coins, and now the process has begun. First, we have a letter of guarantee verifying our mix, which is a nice thing to hold on to in case anything goes wrong, so take a second to download that text file and compare the address in Notepad with the address listed on Blender for spelling. We don't want to send anything to the wrong place. Uh, looks like everything checks out, so now we have a 24 hour window to send our coins from wherever they're at, in our case Coinbase, over to the mixer address listed under number 3 on Blender. Before we do that, note that the minimum amount Blender will mix is 0.001 Bitcoin, so be aware over how much you're sending. Overall, I would try to mix as much as possible in one transaction to minimize network fees. Alright, so let's copy that mixer address and head back over to Coinbase. Click on the send receive button in the upper right corner and paste it in. Hit continue, double check what you're doing, and hit send now. Alright, so the coins are on their way. Depending on what delay you chose will determine how long it takes for the fresh coins to show up in the receiving wallet. So in my case, I'll see you guys back here in one hour. Alright guys, so a couple hours have passed and now we're seeing our unconfirmed transaction show up in Electrum. 
takes half an hour alone for the original coins to get out of Coinbase, so that explains the delay on top of the one hour freeze I set on Blender. Uh, as you can see here, our fresh coin has already worked itself through one confirmation, and it shouldn't be too much longer until we're all set. You can also keep track of your mix progress on Blender by hitting F5 to refresh the page and receive updates. I'm really impressed with their accurate delivery time, and uh, yeah, no problems here. All right, my friends, so a little under three hours later, and we can finally feast our eyes on this $30 worth of clean coin. I've been mugged by a fake mixer in the past, so it was a little weary coming to this one today. However, I've read great things about Blender, and they didn't disappoint. I'm sure there's a phishing site for them, so check your links and don't hesitate to fact check every time. I hope this video helped you guys out. Your likes and subs are always appreciated. Stay tuned for my next video on installing and using Tails, a bootable USB-based operating system for safely navigating the depths of the dark web and just maintaining privacy altogether. With built-in encryption and Tor browser at the ready, you can't go wrong with this added layer of security. Oh yeah, it's free too, so stick around, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.